Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now, today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, very stately Rover P5B Coupe 3.5 V8 that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end of actually both videos. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Rover P5B Coupe. Now, I have to confess, I absolutely adore P5Bs, especially Coupes. Uh, and this is actually quite a well-known car to us. Um, Spec-wise, completely standard, apart from things like electronic ignition, um, an electric fuel pump booster. Stainless steel exhaust. It's an older restoration. Um, between, I think, 1980 and 2020, it had just the one owner known to us. Fitted with a tow bar, I forgot about that. Last owner fitted a tow bar to, to tow a small trailer. It's got door mirrors on it. Obviously the three and a half litre V8 motor in it. Absolutely massive stack of history as you might imagine. And it's just had an awful lot of mechanical work done to it, which we'll detail in the, uh, in the description. It is an older restoration, so um, so it's showing its age but there are one or two minor blemishes on it here and there but we'll uh, we'll highlight the um the main ones but i'm you know there's no point me going through everything i'll be here all day bumpers a little bit pitted and discolored same on the rear but nothing major just look patinated shall we say paint around the front end pretty good i mean i think it was painted between 30 and 40 years ago so it's actually holding up pretty well from that point of view just there a little bit of reaction just there on top of the wing but looking down the near side the near side door lower skin is blooming slightly so uh, the fit of the near side front door it, it, you know the bottom of the of the, um, the door is sort of pushed out slightly because the skin is blooming probably if you were to restore it again you'd replace the skin show you inside there screen roof is nice yeah let's say the bottom edge of the door if you can bend down low enough you can see there it's starting to bloom out at the bottom um, but the fit of the near side door isn't perfect interior wise it's all original apart from it's had new front carpet mats and kick panels in it fairly recently by the look of it um, so we have got some wear here and there. Uh, this, the leather is original and as is almost always the case on these P5Bs, the seam has starting to split on the, this seat. In fact, probably on all four seats. But uh, nicely worn in leather. It's still got its centre armrest. Dashboard's all nice. Still got its original radio mobile radio. Headlining is good and the wood's in good shape as well. Not a fresh, fresh restoration, this one. Just show you the A post, because it's an important part of these. And again, the B post. Near side rear door fit is much better. Again, we'll show you down there and up the C post. Again, yeah, in inner seam and split on that seat there. Um, original carpets in the back, original leather in the back. No headrests on this one. Top of the near side rear wing. Seat is all good. A little bit of a blemish just there by the fuel filler cap. Near side rear wing has got a little bit of elect sort of electrolytic reaction bubbling, just paint bubbling there and a bit there. Around the back end, the, uh, the rear bumper is the same as the front one. Uh, and we have got a little bit of chrome just lifting off just there by the overrider. Um, in fact, the rear bumper is probably slightly better than the front one. So the chrome isn't bad, it's, uh, it's just you know, um, showing its age. The boot lid has got 
some bubbling on it just there, a little way along the bottom edge, and there, and some electrolytic reaction or some, what do you call it, um, oh, bubbling under the paint just on the top of the boot lid here, where it's been painted when it was damp. Um, near side rear seam isn't quite as good as the, sorry, offside rear seam isn't quite as good as the near side, bubbling up slightly, including a, a bubble just there. down the near side this, it looks very very good down there oh one thing the boot lid doesn't the, the fit of the boot lid could be slightly better obviously it needs a bit of adjustment on the hinges as you can see it's slightly wide that side compared to the other side minor thing though looking down the near side so the panel fits very good down there offside rear door is all nice a little bit of bubbling just there on the edge of the wing Under there. The Mazak trim on the door handles is very good actually. On all four of them. Door card. Let me show you the B and C posts. Actually this seat, the, the rear passenger seat, hasn't got any split seams. Looks like it's gonna pour with rain in a minute. Hopefully we'll get this done first. Offside door, all very good. Offside front wing, one or two tiny bubbles under the paint just here around the arch. Otherwise, all good. Quick look under there. And then inside on the driver's side. There's its door card. So yeah, orig original interior with the exception of the, the front mats and the kick panels. Again, we'll show you the A post and the B post. Driver's seat, usual splits in the leather on the bolster just there. Stitching's come away in the centre there. But actually the driver's seat, the, the outer seams haven't gone. That there is a rudimentary cruise control, which um, yeah, doesn't work anymore. Uh, it's its dash and everything all good so there we have it um, next portion of the video will show the engine running starting and idling hope you like it okay quick video of start up and idling on this p5b coupe lights come on as they should And settles down to a nice idle. It is warm at the moment as you can see from the temperature gauge but now we'll show you under the bonnet. And there we have a P5B um, Rover three and a half litre V8. Unusually the under bonnet lights are still working. See it's got electronic ignition. Engine running really sweetly. That down there is the cruise control, the mechanical one, which we haven't tried. Let's assume it doesn't work. But uh, she's in good shape. I think there we have it.